Hi everyone and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV located in Frederick, Colorado. Today's video we're really going to focus in on safety and what makes this truck substantially safer than a traditional pickup truck. So I'd like to introduce you to a brand new Freightliner M2106. The conversion is Summit Hauler. This is stock number 5N. 191405. Today we're going to start in the front by taking a front view of the truck and the first thing we notice is the grill. The Summit Hauler conversion comes with a very unique grill that really classes the truck up. The bumper is actually broken into three parts. As you can tell there's one on each side and one in the middle and the logic behind that is if we are in an accident and dent this, it's much more practical just to replace one specific section compared to the entire bumper. The hood is compressed fiberglass, so that makes the hood a lot tougher and easier to repair. Let's take a look underneath the hood. That is the Cummins 8.9 liter engine. It is coupled with the Allison 3200 TRV transmission. It offers 350 horsepower and 1,150 foot-pounds of torque. Now, as you can see, when it was designed and built, things are color-coordinated. So wherever we see yellow is something that you and I can check. For example, right there is where we would check the oil on the vehicle. And as we zoom in across, that's where we would check the coolant level. This is the power steering fluid here. Now, as you'll notice under here, there are a couple of terminals. So if a light gets left on or something happens and the battery dies, right there is where we would jump it. The batteries are located underneath the back seat. So it's a lot easier to jump it right there as opposed to tearing everything apart back there. Now say we're underneath there checking the oil, making sure everything's okay for a big trip, and a gust of wind comes along, that hood's gonna stop. We're not gonna get squished under there. The only way to get the hood down is to manually force it down. As we take a look at the tires, we find Michelin 255, ADR 22.5. The Summit Hauler comes with tire balancers right there. So those have BBs in them with some hydraulic oil. Now as you go and as you speed up and gain momentum, that balances the entire rotating mass from the tire to the rim to the hub. All of that is balanced. So that's going to accomplish a couple of goals for us. Not only does that give us a smoother ride as we're going down the road, but it will also prolong tire life. And the latest data shows it will actually prolong it up to 45%. As we start to walk around, right here is the plug-in for the block heater. So you guys in cold climates or even us here during the winter months can plug that in right there. As we take a look on the driver's seat, the driver's side. Notice how much room is in there. It is a very soft black leather. The seats are heated and cooled. This is air ride. So right here is where we would adjust the seats. Hot or cold right here. This adjusts the lumbar, so how much air we want in the back of the seat. This is where we start the truck. They're built so you're able to start them from the ground. This little pedal right here, when you're sitting in the driver's seat, we press that to help us adjust our steering wheel. Right here is the kill switch. And as much electricity is running through these vehicles, it's just a good practice to get into when you shut the vehicle off to hit that. That kills any stray voltage that might be going through. It comes with two 50 gallon fuel tanks, one on each side. 
they are connected so as it's sitting here it balances itself out but when you go to fuel up the truck you will need to do that independently this is the def tank that holds six gallons data is showing us that we're averaging about 400 miles for one gallon of def this is a trickle charger underneath here so for example in a campground something like that at night and we have the lights and the dvd going we can plug that in and what that does is help the batteries out as we take a look in the back seat you will see that the back seat actually turns down into a bed and we can put that back up into a normal seat simply by pushing a button just like that. The batteries are located right underneath here. The Summit Hauler conversion has the industry advantage in the amount of storage capacity. As you see, there are three on this side. The opposite side matches. As we take a look at the inside, we will see we're able to actually hook up to an air hose. So I did mention that we're gonna talk about safety today. And as you can see, we are actually hooked up to an RV trailer. Now this trailer weighs approximately 15,000 pounds. It's really what this truck was designed to do, which makes today's video extremely practical. So, with that being said, we have 15,000 pounds pushing us as we go. So let's talk about brakes just for a second. This truck comes with air brakes, as a, compared to a pickup truck, which is hydraulic. So a couple advantages to air brakes. One, if we have a leak, obviously there's an unlimited supply of air. So as we pump the brakes, we'll simply push more air through the system. Well, let's compare that to hydraulics. If you have a hydraulic leak, that fluid's coming out. So you'll not only lose pressure when you go to hit the brakes, but it can get extreme enough where you go to hit the brakes and they're not even there. Another advantage is how quickly you can stop at them. Uh, once you're going and hit the brakes on an air brake, you're gonna stop right now, compared to a hydraulic brake that takes just a touch longer. In addition, I brought a couple of brake pads. These are the brake pads for this specific truck. So when we have this RV pushing us, this is what's gonna stop you, as compared to a Ford F-350. The same amount of weight pushing you, this is what's expected to stop you. So as safety goes, which one do you think is more likely to stop you? The mass located here or this one? Something else I would like to point out, I brought a couple of U-joints. So when we're making a big investment like this, we're gonna want the vehicle to last. So this is the U-joint for this truck. Connects the driveline to the rear end. All the torque, all the power runs through here. This goes through a GMC one ton. So let's compare those. Which one's gonna last longer? In addition, this is another safety feature too, because so, what happens with this trailer pushing you and that goes out, we're gonna have problems. As we take a look at the rear end of the truck, we can see how this specific one was hooked up today. The trailer actually has a converter on there to hook it up to a gooseneck hitch. So that makes it extremely nice there. You can convert that over to a fifth wheel, very easy to do. On this side is where we hooked up the lights. Now this is where we would hook up additional backup cameras. It uses the Voyager system. So you can actually hook up to three more backup cameras right there. Another safety feature to this truck is that Summit Hauler put an additional 800 pounds underneath the axle. So obviously this truck is somewhat top heavy. By putting those 800 pounds on, that is primarily for traction. If we get in mud, 
But the safety issue comes up if we're driving in a rainstorm. This should eliminate hydroplaning as we're going down the road. Now let's take a look at the inside. Real quickly from here gives us a really good shot of the DVD system. Okay, so when you go to start your new truck, when you turn the key, first turn it on about half and wait for those gauges to go all the way over and all the way back. And the reason for that is if we get in a hurry and start it, it can trip codes that simply don't exist. Now, another safety issue, that an advantage that this has over pickups, one is how high we are off the ground. So we can see things coming at us from all directions, both in front and the sides. And there's actually 600 square inches of glass laid across here. So that makes things a lot more visible as we're going down the road. So as we take a look from the top down, up here is our backup camera. You can actually hook up to three more like I stated earlier and go through them and, and choose which camera you like to look at. Over here is our air horn. As we come down, talk about the gauges just real quickly. A lot of them are self-explanatory. The top one simply measures the air for the brakes. We talked about the air brake system. The primary one is designed to monitor the air for that. The one below it is a secondary gauge. The secondary gauge, the secondary system goes for the air to everywhere else. The lumbar system, the air in the cab, uh, the seats, all of that is where we would measure that amount of air. As we come over, again, another safety advantage to this over a pickup. This is an engine brake. This is an exhaust. Now, an exhaust brake uh, does what it says. It stops the, the exhaust from coming out, which slows the vehicle down. An engine brake not, does that, but it also restricts fluid going in to the cylinders. So if we have it on low, like it is there, we are set for three, the three cylinders, restriction going in and coming out. Now, if we go to high, that affects all six. So if we're taking a trip through the Rocky Mountains right next to me and we're coming down a steep hill, we're gonna wanna set that to six and that's gonna slow us way, way down. So not only is that safer, but it will also prolong brake life. As we pan over here, this is our cruise control the locks, this is the for the windows for each one. As we come down, it, this is automatic, six speed automatic. And I realize that a truck this size can kind of be a little bit intimidating at first, but it's, it's very, very simple and there's no reason to be afraid of it. Uh, right now we are in neutral with the air brake on. When we're ready to go, we push that in, R for reverse and D for drive, very simple. As we're coming across, mirror heaters here. This is our manual regen button, which we will probably never use uh, because it'll do it automatically as we're going up and down the road. This locks our differential. This button here is the air dump for the back. An example of that, we used that this morning when we were hooking up the trailer. It just lowers that, knocks the air out of the rear end, so it makes hooking up a trailer easier for you. These are the intermittent lights. Now this is the fan, it's set to cool right now, going to the back of the truck, see right there is the fan. Now we can hook up air brakes right here. This truck does come with glad hands. If you have a trailer that, that uses air, we'll hook up all of that for you before you leave. And this is our, our parking brake. And finally coming down, this is our climate control. Very simple, colder, hotter, where you want the air to go and how fast you want that fan to run. So a very nice truck. We talked about some safety things today. Uh, if you have any questions about this or any of the other vehicles on the lot, please feel free to give me a call. Again, my name is Larry Vickers. I can be reached at 303-684-3404. My cell phone number is 970-370-4067 or email me, larry.vickers at transwest.com. Thanks for tuning in today.